Hello, I'm Semily Sherry of Triple Moon and behind me on the hill there you should see the rather impressive figure of the Long Man of Wilmington and it's from this spot that I'm doing my next sacred site transmission tomorrow, that's Saturday the 1st of March, which is the new moon. Now as I've been working with these sacred site transmissions I found that they've very much been reflecting what's going on in the heavens in astrology and therefore what's current, what energies we need for now. And since choosing the long man for, for my next transmission he's been speaking to me a lot so I hope I can cram it all into a few minutes. By the way if you have already registered thank you very much and welcome and if you haven't and you're intrigued by what you hear in this video or you'd like to find out more do go to my website and the link for that is below in the description of the video. So the long man, well he's carrying a lot of energy for us right now. Um, for a start the new moon is going to be in Pisces and Pisces opens us up to the astral realms, the dream worlds, the other worlds, the world of spirit and that is absolutely where we need to head for our answers right now. So that's the very first thing and the most important thing. That's where we need to be looking, not in the logical material world, but in the spirit realms. Also, I found out quite recently that the north node of the moon has moved into Libra and the north node of the moon represents our future, our destiny, the point that we're heading towards. So for humanity, that means we're heading into the realms of Libra and that is balance, harmony and absolutely balancing those two extremes, those two, those polarities and dualities that I know a lot of people have been struggling with right now. And the thing that I've discovered for myself while, while working with the long man is he's standing between those two poles, those two extremes. He's holding the doorway open but also what I felt him saying to me was that he himself is the doorway. Standing between those poles, he's holding the doorway and he is the doorway. And therefore in us, there is a doorway too. And I believe that doorway is the inner center, the spirit spark within, that peaceful point, which if we can find and if we can reside in, it doesn't matter what chaos is happening around us, we stand true, we stand calm and peaceful. And from that point we can cope with anything. It's also from that point that we can access those realms. We don't need anything outside of ourselves. We can get straight to spirit from that still calm point. The other thing about holding the two doorways and, and about him being um, like a threshold, being a doorway, is that you can stand on the threshold of a doorway but it's a choice about whether you walk through it. So that's also important now. We have to choose to go through that doorway and that's not only a choice of actively engaging spirit um, in everything that we do now, it's also a choice to maintain that centre because so much is changing around us. I mean, the weather in the UK has just been crazy. Storms, wind, rain, we just don't know what's gonna happen in the next minute. Um, and we need to stay calm, we need to stay centred so that we can react in, a, in an appropriate way. And that's what that doorway is. It's a choice always in every day, in every moment, to choose to be still, to choose to be calm, to choose to be listening to spirit rather than the chaos that's happening around us. Um, now I also felt that he had, um, the long man had a link with the sun and that came through in my guardian's message if you want to read it on the website. And that I think is the active masculine aspect, which is taking action, that is the active choice. And of course we all, all have a sun within us, our solar plexus chakra here, just below the rib cage. That is our inner sun. And that is also the point at which I think the long man is encouraging us to return. That center, that sun point of love and light within us, that will hold us safe, that will hold us true in these chaotic times. And it will take us to balance and harmony. And of course Libra, balancing between those two poles, those two extremes, is also about relationship because wherever there's two things there has to be relationship. And if you're holding that still calm centre then you can relate to any living being in a very real, very loving way and that's going to enhance everything in the world. That's where the planet needs to be right now, including helping Earth as well because if we hold our, our centre 
and our calm point and we're working from spirit then we'll respond to the earth and we'll work with the earth in that loving way and all the loving beings on her living I said loving that was a Freudian slip very appropriate loving and living beings on the planet too so I do feel that that this wonderful chalk figure is offering us a lot right now for the present moment and usually I like to give a little piece of poetry to kind of back up and to encapsulate the message of the site. And um, often I have to do a bit of research to find something that's relevant. But actually the last few weeks I've had going over and over in my head the lines of the poem that I'm going to, to quote for you today. Because of the weather, we're very sleep deprived at the moment. So I just hope I can remember this because my mind is a little bit foggy. Um, but yes, the lines I want to quote to you are from T.S. Eliot and his poem, Burnt Norton. So I'll do my very best to remember them. At the still point of the turning world, neither flesh nor fleshless, neither from nor towards, at the still point, there the dance is. That'll have to do. <laughs> I hope you join me for the transmission and George will just linger now a little bit on the long man so you can get a good look at him um, and also pan round the hillside because it's rather beautiful here. <laughs> 